I like the idea, Jessica, but the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm wondering if we're going to be able to pull this off. All right, I've got my two containers, I've got my mold, stir sticks, I've got the resin, oh, and some dyes, and what I've chosen is I've chosen a black and a blue. Now, because the resin cures white, all dye choices become pastel. That's just the nature of it. So we're going to start with eight ounces from each cup. In each cup. Oh man. And that's fluid ounces for all of you out there in other countries. It is a volume. So major. four ounces of part A in each, and then four ounces of part B in each. What a fun sound. Scrape down the sides and the bottom. And the goal is here is to get them both to the exact same raging point at the same time and then pour them into the bowl. Mold. 100, 109 degrees Fahrenheit, 108 degrees Fahrenheit, 114, 111, okay, we're getting close on this side. Okay, 204 degrees Fahrenheit, 202, 205, 209, wow, that definitely got hot fast. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks interesting. It doesn't look cool at all. It looks crazy hot. So the last time I did this, what I did is I put a piece of wood here in the middle to fill up the space, and that didn't work out so well for me. So what I've got instead for this time, this is a mold that I made a while back. And it's actually kind of interesting. It's this Easy Mold product, and it's, it's basically just thickened silicone, and you can like paste it on. The advantage of that is you don't need near as much silicone. Uh, the disadvantage is that unless you're really good at pasting it on, you get sort of this ugly looking kind of surface. Takes up a lot more. But it's all craggly. It's fine. It'll be fine. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Just comes right out. There's a sweet spot before resin gets too hard, before it cures all the way, when it's really good at releasing from these plastic containers. And we are right in you're right in that sweet spot. All right. There, I'll just put a bottle in there. That's less distracting, I think. Now, will it stick to all these craggly bits on the outside of the silicone? I don't think so. Let's all remember I said that. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay, let's add our blue and our black again. And the resin's already mixed. We're just making sure the dye is in there. Zoom in a little bit here. And this is where I'm going to try to pour it. Oh, it's happening. I almost missed it. I was too busy looking at the camera. So sorry. I poured it. You didn't see that. It started to boil. See if we can get a good shot of it happening. Uh, 
All right, I think that's set in place now. And you can feel the steam just coming off of this. It's just crazy steam coming off of there. It's a good sized bowl, you could totally stop here. I just have a little bit more resin, so I'm gonna do a little bit more. And we'll only do a little bit this time. We'll do, um, I don't know, like four ounces. Now this shouldn't boil up as fast because there won't be near as much resin in each. Should we change the directions to put black on that side and blue on this side? Seems like the blue is reacting faster than the black does. Seems like the black's not reacting at all. Oh, here we go. I love that sound too. It's much cooler now, but it's still kind of soft. So I'm gonna let it finish curing and then I'll come back out. And this mold is well tested. We know it works well. mounted on the lathe it's just basically jammed on between centers and yeah it seems to turn around so I think we're good there we go. this is what I was hoping for We've got this dark lava look and we definitely do have some swirls here We are mounted on the lathe. There's not much holding this on, but if I learned anything from last time, it's that it doesn't take much pressure to remove material. So I'm betting that that will work in our favor. Since the lathe is shaking, the bench is shaking, and you guys are on the bench, so you might be in the vomit seats. Great. Look at the bench. It's all covered in black and blue. You know what, Jessica? That was a really good idea. Oh, look it. Oh, I like it a lot. It looks like a Batman bowl. Dang it. <laughs> what do you think? You like it? Yeah, I think I'll call this one Son of Lava Bowl. Thanks for watching.